Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert a logo into a Word document. So I have just created some simple graphics inside a Word document. If I move this around, you can see all of that moves as one. Now for this, realistically, you can only use this for one page because at the moment, all of these graphics are just inserted much in the same way as you would insert a picture. Now I'll show you another way that you can insert this, which will allow you to copy it over subsequent pages. But if you just want one page and you want to insert your logo, then let's go ahead and show you how to do that. And then I'll show you a method that ensures that your logo will appear on every page. So let's go up to the insert tab here go along to pictures, click on the drop down and select picture from file. Now from your files, you need to identify where your logo is and then just click insert. Now, depending on how your logo has been given to you or you've made, this one is a PNG file. And when I insert it into Word, it's huge and it goes behind my text. And actually I can't move it around. So what we need to do is to just simply select the logo, right click, go down to wrap text and select in front of text. Alternatively, when you've selected your logo, you can go to picture format, wrap text, click on the drop down and select in front of text. This will allow you to now move your logo and also transform it. So I can reduce the size of my logo now and I can move it up to here if I want to, or I can move it actually onto the graphics itself if I want to move it over to those graphics. And that's a very simple and quick way to insert your logo. But as I said before, if you want this to be a letterhead and you want it to go onto the next page, if I just go up and click insert, click page break, you can see now that you're just left with a plain page. So what we need to do is we need to put all of our graphics into our headers and our footers and the same with our logo. So let's just get rid of the logo to begin with. So I'm just going to ungroup all of my graphics and now I have the graphics up here, graphics down here. So all I need to do now is just to copy this graphic. So I can select it, go to the home tab, go to the copy icon, or I can just click command or control C. Then I'm just going to double click at the top of my document and I enter my headers and my footers. Now, if you can't see that, then just go to insert, header and footer, and you can just select this top one here and that will place you in your headers and footers. Now, all you need to do is once you're in here is go up to the home tab and just select paste. And in the paste section here, you'll see that your graphic will appear. Now we need to place it up here with this graphic. So we can just select it there. Then we can just simply copy and paste it, command or control C, Command or Control V and just copy that graphic. It's going to spin it round using that circular icon. Pop it down here. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I'm putting all of my graphics, including a logo, which I'll show you in a second, into my headers and footers. And I'll show you why. Let's just pop that up there. I can change this in a minute. Don't worry about the shaded versions, we'll get rid of those in a second. Now what we need to do is to go to insert, picture, picture from file, select your logo again and select insert. Now make sure you're in the headers and footers. If you're not in the headers and footers, it will not copy over to subsequent pages. Yet again, we are in the scenario where we can't move it. So we'll right click, go to wrap text and select in front of text. And then just simply drag that corner so that we just reduce the size of that logo. And then again, we can place it wherever we want to. It doesn't have to be within this headers and footers line. So you'll see a header line here and also a footer line. It doesn't matter whether the logo is in there or not. You can go anywhere on this page and it will be inserted into the headers and footers as long as you can see the words header and footer. Or we can place it over on top of our graphic we roughly place it there, we'll come back and customize it. So now we need to come out of the headers and footers to get rid of the old graphics. So click anywhere in the center of your document, double click. 
So now we've come out of the headers and footers and we just need to get rid of these graphics. So click on them, press delete, and you'll see the graphics behind it are now faded. And that's because they're inside the header or the footer. Now, don't worry if you send this as a PDF file or you print it out, it will look exactly like this down here, this vibrant color here. It just indicates that all these graphics are in the headers and footers. So let's just get rid of this graphic because this isn't in the headers and footers. Let's go back into the headers and footers to just customize this. So double click at the top. And now you can see the vibrancy of those colors come back. We can move our logo again, just to make sure it's in the right place. If it's a bit clunky, you can use your arrow keys. And in fact, I'm just gonna move those graphics up a bit. There we go, and just move that up one. Just move these graphics over. There we go. And as soon as you're happy, then you can just click inside the main body of your letter or your document. And you'll see that your logo is perfectly placed at the top here. And if we insert another page, click insert. And if we hit the page break, you can see that everything will be copied over to the subsequent pages. So let's just save this as a PDF. Save as, and we'll just type insert logo. Go down to the bottom here, click on the drop down, select PDF, and then just click export. Let's go into the file. And you can see when you save it as a PDF file, it looks perfectly normal with vibrant colors. And then you can just email that in a normal way. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.